Schöne gute Morgen, alle guten, ich bin dann der Prof. von natürlich Luxemburgisch with Anne. Now, are you ready for a new conversation workout? I hope that you enjoyed the previous conversation workouts and if you have missed them, you can check out them on my blog or here on my YouTube channel. Now, in the previous workout, you have learned how to ask some friends questions about their future plans or how offering ideas about plans you would like to do together. And in this conversation workout, you will learn how to finalize those plans. Okay? Good. Bast du prat für die Lektion? Are you ready for the lesson? And before we start, don't forget to press the subscribe button. And in Luxembourgish, you say, vergiss nicht den Abo-Knäppchen zu drücken. Let's repeat. Vergiss nicht den Abo-Knäppchen zu drücken. This workout is going to follow a similar pattern as the previous ones. So you will practice some similar questions uh, by listening to me first and then you will repeat them after me. This will help you not only to strengthen your um, speaking skills but as well your listening skills. And as a result you will sound much more natural in your conversations. And don't forget that you can test your knowledge with a translation exercise at the end of this lesson. Well, let's start. In uh, the conversation workout number two, you have learned how to agree with friends to meet up uh, for, an, uh, for an activity. Zum Beispiel, you have learned, um, sollen wir auf den Christmacht gehen? Sollen wir auf den Christmacht gehen? So to finalize now this plan, you can use a question word such as wo. Wo. Zum Beispiel. Wo sollen wir Eis treffen? Wo sollen wir Eis treffen? Now, Let's listen again to this question in more natural spoken Luxembourgish. Wo sollen wir Reis treffen? Wo sollen wir Reis treffen? Now, did you hear that the word ma eyes in spoken Luxembourgish um, are linked together and sound like this? Ma Reis. Ma Reis. Let's repeat. Wo sollen wir Reis treffen? Good. If you want to sound more natural and more casual, you can add in this question the word dann. Remember that I've talked already about this word dann in the previous workout and in the previous lesson. So I gave you the reason why we native speakers like to use the word dann in questions. One reason is to make the question sound more natural or softer. Okay, so our question, um, wo uh, sollen wir Eis treffen, would sound like this. Wo sollen wir Eis dann treffen? Let's repeat. Wo sollen wir Eis dann treffen? Great, now you sound a bit more natural. Let's continue to practice how to finalize plans by using the question word veini. Veni means when. Okay? So you can ask a friend, um, Veni willst du gehen? Let's repeat. Veni willst du gehen? Let's focus now here on these three words, willst du Now, did you hear how I linked them together so that they sound just like one word, willst du Willst du da? Let's repeat the whole question. Veni willst du da And gohen, we pronounce it more like gohn. Gohn. Veni willst du da Yes? 
Great. And now if you want to ask this question to several friends, you would use the dear form. So you would say, Veni da goen. Veni da goen. And again, Vult dir sounds like this. Völdir. Völdir. As already mentioned in the previous workout. Great. Let's add on now some time markers. For example, um wei viel hour? Um wei viel hour soll man reis mur treffen? Um wei viel hour soll man reis mur treffen? Good. Or, um wei viel hour willst du mur de moyen fortführen? And more natural, um wei viel hour willst du mur de moyen fortführen? Let's repeat. Um wei viel hour willst du mur de moyen fortführen? Great. And if you want to leave some options open, you can use the expression loscht hun instead of the verb wollen or sollen. For example, you can ask someone, wei nie uh, huste loscht mur de moyen fortzuführen? Or more casual, you can add the word done. Wenn ich wusste da lost, muss der Moyen fortzuführen. Let's repeat again. Wenn ich wusste da lost, muss der Moyen fortzuführen. Good. In spoken Luxembourgish, it is as well very common to combine a question with a suggestion. For example, Wenn ich willst du mir fortführen, moies frei? Wenn ich willst du mir fortführen, moies frei? Okay, so here you have your question. Wenn ich willst du mir fortführen? And the suggestion, moies frei? Remember that we want to stay casual, we are speaking to friends, so the, the suggestion can be very short. What is important is the intonation. Moyes frei? Let's repeat. Wenn ich willst du mir fortführen? Moyes frei? Or another question. Um, Wenn ich soll ich da mir urufen? Firun oder noda abest? Firun oder noda abest? Wenn ich soll ich da mir urufen, firun oder no da abest. And you can now end a conversation by making this suggestion, which is really, really very commonly used in spoken Luxembourgish. Soll ich dich sicher kommen? So let's repeat. Soll ich dich sicher kommen? Good. Or you can add, of course, some time marker. Um, soll ich dich um Erdauer sicher kommen? Soll ich dich um Erdauer sicher kommen? Or when speaking to several friends, you can ask, soll ich dich mir um sieben Uhr sicher kommen? Great. Nice work, everyone. It is Zeit für den Übung. It's time for your exercise. Now I will say three questions in English and you will try to translate them in Luxembourgish. If you want my personal feedback, write your answers below this video. Prat? Ready? Fro Nummer 8. Where shall we meet up on Friday? Fro Nummer 2. At what time shall I pick you up tomorrow evening? Fro Nummer 3. When do you feel like leaving on Wednesday um, morning? Good. Now, don't forget that um, I made this lesson for you to watch again, again and again, because it's um, training your mouth, training your memory through repetition. It's only that way that it will stick in your mind. Great. If you like this lesson, press the like button and in Luxembourgish, drag the like knapschen, drag the like knapschen. 
And don't forget that you can read the full transcript on my blog, luxembourgishwizan.lu. And in the next lesson, you will learn the colors. So you will not only learn the colors, but as well useful sentences to describe clothes people are wearing. And this lesson will be very useful for those of you who intend to, um, uh, to sit in the upcoming future, the Luxembourgish nationality test called the Spruchen test. So stay tuned. Merci fit nur gucken. Thank you for watching.